Hello and welcome to Frank Handyman. Today we're going to be doing a lot of miscellaneous things. We're mostly going to be doing a lot of door fixing today. So we're going to go through various locations. Uh, starting off with this one right here. This sliding door, one of the wheels on the very top is not sliding very well. So as you can see here, this is something that he's going to have to fix up in there. He's using this and this was going to lubricate the wheel. That way it slides a lot better. And he also needed to fix this right here because it was a little bit broken. And so what he ended up doing was nailing this down. And he also had to do it from the inside of the bathroom, which you couldn't see from the angle that I was in. Uh, and then he's also putting some caulk on the cracks. As you can see on the cracks, there's no longer any gaps. This right here was the second door we had to fix. Uh, it was hitting the bottom. As you can see, the rail is a little slanted. So we're gonna have to also fix this door. The good thing, we had a little bit of friends with us for the day. And right now what he's gonna start doing was unscrewing off the top two screws. And he had to use this little small screwdriver just because it's close to the ceiling. And now we're taking off the door. And this is the one that's really causing the main issue because it really hits the bottom. So what he's doing is making the hole bigger that way with the hole being bigger and but he's only making the bottom of a bit bigger that way once he sets it down it'll 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 lift up and it will no longer hit the bottom and then the door will slide a lot better we tried a couple of times testing it out seeing if it was the right size and once he got it done that's when he started pulling all, pulling all the knobs in once he put those back in, he lifted the door and put it back in place on the rail just to test it out and see if it didn't hit the bottom anymore. And as you can see, it's sliding a little bit better, but we found out it was still hitting a little bit. So he had to cut down the door a little bit, just the size of the blade. So it was very minuscule, but it's a big difference when it comes down to the floor. And once we brought it back in, we tested it again. And as you can see now, they both fit perfectly. Once putting down also the last screws back in to the door, we focused on the last piece that we're going to do at this house, which is fixing, fixing this section where the outlet goes around. He had to take it out just because it was already hanging off and he's going to put down two screws on the inside that way the frame of it stays tight and then he's going to put in the outlets in and then as well screw the top and the bottom and then once that gets done then we're going to put the case over it as well and also put the screws and as you can see here it's back in it's perfectly settled and then these are the other doors that we're going to be working on the issue with these is that they're hitting when you open them up they hit the sides of the closets so we had to move them a little bit to the side that way there's that gap and it no longer hits as you can see here it opens up pretty well the other issue with these doors is that the knobs are put on the wrong area so when you try to open the door it's really difficult so we're gonna have to move the knobs more into the middle that way when you pull the doors it's a lot easier and you're not fighting with the two knobs that are right in the middle. So he's making the holes for the new knobs and also leveling. And right now he's doing all the screws, doing all the holes in there while we wait till the knobs dry. But we, while also waiting till the knobs dry down, we started looking also into the heater. The client was mentioning that it was not working and once we opened it up, it makes sense. There was no electricity running through them. So we found out what was the issue. So we put it back down together for another time. Now that the knobs were ready, he started setting them down. And once setting these down and screwing them in, that was the end for the day. As you could see, it's a lot easier to open them now. So stick around to see more projects. See you tomorrow.